I remember when I was nobody, when the going was rough and tough. I remember when I was nobody, I never thought I'd be somebody. I was crying, I have no shoes. I was crying, I have no shoes. Not until I saw someone without legs. Not until I saw someone without legs. I was crying, I have no shoes. Is this song in any way applicable to your life? Of course, even if you are son of Dangote, there were several days of your life that you were really poor and uh, you just keep going. You are, using, you are using your own life as an example of others. Sometimes you are, you are going on the street, you don't have a shoe, but at the same time, you, you see several people without legs that were crawling on the road. So that is an example to give thanks to God. So the music is very important to remember the past. One of the greatest table tennis exports from Nigeria is the man sitting beside me. His name is Aaron Quadri. And at the point he was judged the best the person with the best forehand in the whole world in terms of male tennis. And of course, today we want to speak with him to ask him a few questions about him, how he started tennis, his foray into the sport, and then of course, how tennis has affected his life positively. Some of the positives he can take away from being a te table tennis player, and of course, some of the challenges he's faced over the past few years. My name is Damla Okonla, and you're watching Legit TV. Big shout out to Manuel Suri, the man behind the camera, for bringing you this footage. How long have you been playing tennis? I started playing table tennis when I was seven years old on the streets. It was like just for fun, but uh, fortunately for me, I met a man who happened to have a table tennis center. His name is Olu Wale Abolani. He's uh, one of the teachers in Nyo State in a school called Andikan Secondary School. So I, I was lucky to have met, met him, and uh, he took me directly to the hall due to the talent he, he realized in me. How, how did you become a professional tennis player? Uh, after I practiced with the man I mentioned earlier, a uh, few years later, I decided to come and um, test if I'm a very good table tennis player. Then that happened to be uh, 2000. I came here as a cadet player. Then I won my first ever cadet tournament at the Rope Park Stadium. And uh, from there, I realized that uh, if I could put in more efforts, then it might be very possible in future to be a professional table tennis player. And then you put in more effort? Uh, yes, just like I said, I put in several efforts. Because uh, winning for the first time, while playing for the first time as well, it means a lot. Uh, it's uh, some kind of positive feelings about future. So I walk towards that and uh, I thank God today everything is working very well. How much did you earn as your first, the first prize money you earned in table tennis? The... That was year 2000, I couldn't remember very well. It's so many years ago, but I couldn't remember. How did you start um, professionally abroad? How did you get the link to go abroad outside Nigeria today? Uh, just like I said earlier, that I, I doubled my effort since I realized I have the potential and talent. I continue practicing very well and uh, fortunately for me I was able to play my uh, first uh, national sport festival, the one that was held in Abuja year 2004. I did not qualify to be in the team but as a young talent, the, the coach then from Moyo State, Coach uh, Ayeshu, he, he included me into the team. Then surprisingly, I won a bronze medal, of which uh, some of the senior players that qualified, they didn't do uh, anything individually. We only won some medals in team and in doubles, I think. So we need that medal at the senior level, while being a junior player, uh, actually spring some kind of surprises to the national coaches then. And I was invited directly into the national camp with the senior players. Then I could remember in the year 2010, we were preparing for Commonwealth Games in India. I was fortunate to be part of the uh, players that represented Nigeria at the World Team Cup in Dubai. Then uh, I played uh, more than expectations and uh, from there several clubs from Portugal were trying to get in touch with me. But fortunately, there was a manager called Thiago Fontes in Portugal. He finally finalized the deal and that was how I got to Portugal. So you've been in Portugal since 2010? 
Yes, I've been in Portugal since 2010. And you're playing the biggest leagues in Portugal? I think Portugal is one of the best uh, leagues in Europe. If not the best, it's one of the best. It's not the best, of course. We have German League, Poland and French. I think these three, they, they are the best. But of course, I've played in France before. France used to be one of the best as well. Yeah, I think F French League is like uh, the best three in Europe. So I played there and uh, I realized uh, some experiences. There were up and downs, but uh, thank God everything was okay in the end. Okay, your wife also plays table tennis. How does this make you feel? I mean, professionally. Uh, it's uh, always very good when you marry someone that is in the same field with you. It means they will be able to understand everything about you. know, As a professional table tennis player, we travel a lot. And having someone like her at home, it's uh, some kind of positive blessings to me. Because it's really not easy putting someone at home alone, taking care of the kids. So I must give some kind of kudos to him. And uh, let's thank God for everything that uh, we are able to manage things between ourselves. Sometimes we fight. And these, these are the things that are normal in life. Okay, most of the time we see all these local guys always running after you. They want to come close to you. They feel like they just naturally like you. What do you think could be responsible for this? I think I was in the same shoe years ago. Whenever you see some of the best players, if not in Nigeria or in Europe or Africa, you always want to get very close, even to take a picture. I'm always very happy having them around me. And of course, it's not uh, my power, it's just uh, God's doing. And I must give thanks to God for putting my love into their mind. You know, if uh, without love, nobody will be able to survive. So the, the, the kind of love they're showing to me, it keeps me going and going. Okay, in 2017 or early 2018, you are judged the person with the best forehand, deadliest forehand in the world. How did you react to that? Uh, I was very happy and uh, it's uh, a way of appreciating my hard work and let me say thanks to God for crowning my efforts. So many people are working harder and harder, even more than me, but you know, everyone cannot just, just have that positive result at the same time. So I'm very happy that uh, I was able to join uh, one of the best phones in the world, if not the best at that time. Like they said you were the best. Don't be modest. Uh, I, I really do not believe I was the best then because we have several players that were playing for and at the same time. But just like I said, Ella, I'm very happy. And uh, I'm saying thanks to God for crying for crown for crowning my efforts. Can you show me the forehand? Well I feel like many tennis players are always doing like this. Why do they always have to bend their is it like a skill required in tennis that when you want to play there's a way you do your hand or doesn't just, this spoil just, just your like posture? You said, just like you said earlier, it's uh, one of the skills that we have to apply. And uh, every kind of touch you need different kind of position. For example, if you want to serve you have you need different position if you want to receive you need different position if you want to attack so all the things we are doing has to do with different kind of positions so which players have you played against that you've defeated the, the biggest defeat biggest wins for you since you started playing the biggest wins for you i think the biggest win so far for me was in the olympic games when i qualified to quarter final uh, against one of uh, former world number one from germany timobo i think that was the biggest so far for me how did you feel that day? Like, how did you feel? It was just unbelievable. I was like uh, dreaming because uh, against uh, all expectations, nobody was expecting such result from me. And actually, from the beginning, the 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 the, the draws didn't favor me because I lost against some of the players. We are in the same part of the draw, so it was like uh, nothing is going to happen positively in favor of me. But I just kept believing and believing, and I was just doing my thing. So winning against the first one, uh, it was a defender, a Chinese defender from Slovakia, gave me much uh, confidence to go on because I, I never won against him. And uh, the next one was Zhuan Chiyuan from uh, Chinese Taipei. Earlier in January before the biggest, I lost 4-0. It was like in 10 minutes I lost so fast. So it was uh, like mission, mission impossible, but I, I kept believing and believing. And I repeated the feat he, he, he did against me, I repeated against him as well, 4-0, so fast as well. Then winning these two first matches gave me like 100% confidence that nothing is actually impossible. And of course I played against the Mobile like seven times before in a publicity tournament in Germany. In different cities I lost like seven times consecutively. So uh, at the round of 16 I was like nothing is impossible. If I was able to win these first two matches, it is very possible, then I was just playing. 
then everything was just working in my favor. Which players do you really look up to like, oh, these are great and legendary players? I think I respect almost all the players this is because you cannot actually point at a player that is not good. Almost everyone is really good now. So it means if some of the players were given opportunity, I think everyone would just be very, very good. Growing up, when you were growing up? Uh, when I was growing up, I used to look forward to Shegu Toriola, Mondi Moronto, Kazim Nasir. Outside Nigeria, I, I used to look forward to J. Michael Save because of his ability to entertain the crowd whenever he's losing or winning. I also look forward to Wagner and uh, some others. Did you ever meet Shegun Toriola before you started playing professional? Did you ever meet with him? No, we, Did you ever we, we, we met before several times. We were in training camp several times. I mean, before you became a professional player, maybe. Yes, yes, we, 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 we met several times at the games, tournaments, training camps. Olympic uh, training tour. We were together several times, so I learned a lot from him. So, what, what's your advice to very many young table tennis players out there who are looking forward to becoming another Harun or Kodro, who are looking forward to being on top of their game? I think they should always believe in themselves. You know, nothing actually comes easily. There will be difficulties, but during difficulties, they shouldn't give up. They just have to keep focusing and keep working at it and praying to God. Nothing is just impossible to achieve in life. If you just have that determination and focus, we can actually achieve almost everything. When you're on the court, what do you think of? What, what, what are the things that are on your mind when you're on the court? Uh, i always been thinking about the, the tactics. Point after point, I'm always thinking of what to do next, like changing tactics, so the opponent do not get used to what I'll be doing regularly. And uh, I'm always looking forward to winning, but uh, winning is not always my main priority. My main priority is always to give my 100% best. I'm not, I'm not always thinking about winning all the time. I know if I'm able to give my 100% best, winning will come. So thinking about winning will give some kind of pressure. So that is why I'm always like giving my best. Everyone wants to win, but it will come if you give your 100% best. And Sometimes you are playing like unbelievably well, but uh, you are not winning. And sometimes you are playing very, very bad and you are winning. And these are the things in sports. What was the most disappointing day for you in table tennis game? Like the most disappointing day ever? Maybe a tournament or just a day or something? There are several most disappointing days, but uh, we just have to give thanks. Well, sometimes you really want to play, but your body is not giving you opportunities. Sometimes you are playing against a very low, low rank player, but the style is not suitable for your own style and you lose like easily and everyone is thinking you are so bad. So there are several difficulty days, several dis uh, bad days, but also we should remember there are positive days, better days are also as well, previous days that were really good. And uh, I must say that God has always been very good to me. So I'm, all, I'm not always thinking about the, the past defeat. The past defeat have, have always been helping me to grow and improve my my, my game. Mm. How do you relax? Do you listen to Nigerian music? I, I listen to almost all the music. Tell me some. Sing. I, I listen to Whiskey, Davido, and the likes of others. Yeah, sing I, one of Whiskey songs. I'm not just good at singing. <laughs> sing the way you can sing. I can say that I like one of the Fuji musicians as well, Osh Oshupa Said. Are you sing that one? Yes, of course. Yeah, I, I remember when I was nobody, when the going was rough and tough. I remember when I was nobody, I never thought I'd be somebody. I was crying, I have no shoes. I was crying, I have no shoes. Not until I saw someone without legs. Not until I saw someone without legs. I was crying, I have no shoes. I think table tennis has given me everything, just like Portugal has given me everything. My life is just table tennis. I must give thanks to those that actually supported me financially, because without their support, I won't be Harun or Kondri today. Yes! No worries, I will buy a new TV on Gigi.ng. Gigi, sell faster, buy smarter.